one of the ways we use to control weeds on uh, uh, through conservation agriculture is use of crop protection products, uh, the weed killers. Weed killers, commonly referred to as herbicides, are useful in management of the weed menace in agricultural ecosystems. Because of this vital role and with increasing adoption by conservation agriculture farmers, need arises for safety, proper selection and usage of these herbicides. In this video, we will learn the various types of herbicides, their safe and effective application in conservation agriculture as promoted and trained by participatory approaches for integrated development, PAFID. With these trainings, farmers are able to acquire the right type of herbicides from registered dealers. While purchasing, they are able not only to purchase enough that is required for that season, but also check the packaging to ensure there are no damaged or leaking packs. Kindly note that upon purchase, storage is a very important aspect. For safety, store the products in good condition and keep them in their original packaging. Store the products out of reach for children or any other person that is not aware of their contents. Keep the herbicides dry, away from fires and direct sunlight. Store the herbicides in a well-ventilated store far away from foodstuffs, animals and water supply. When the time is right, you can embark on the actual spraying process. Kwa kupika mandawa, lazima tujikinge na mandawa. Na ni lazima kuna steps zile mtu anavaa afuatilie ili aweze kupika mandawa vizuri. So tukienda upande wa kupika mandawa, kuna zile tunaita PPE. Lazima uwe nazo. Lazima tukue na gumboots. Lazima ubaye gumboots ama viadu ambazo si open. Lazima tukue na ile ovaro. Lazima tukue na trouser ambayo tunasemanga ni permeable. Aingisi maji. So hiyo jacket na hiyo trouser isikuwe asingisi nini? Maji. Lazima yule sprayer akue na nini? Na gloves. Kitu cha ine, lazima avaye nini? Goggles. Sababu maandawa mingi kama wale wanapiganga miti ama kwetu tunapiganga hizi baadhi wakati wanapiga dawa inawarudia. Na kitu kingine lazima akue na nini? Mask ama spirita sababu akuvuta nini ile ile mandao to begin with assemble all the requirements which include a working pump 1 liter calibrated measuring jug 55 meter string 1 meter long string two wooden pegs each 1 meter long a pebble tape measure nozzles and water supply Accurately measure out a distance of at least 50 meters on a flat, even piece of land. Mark the beginning and end with the two wooden pegs, which should be clearly visible from both sides. With a knapsack filled with water, practice walking at a speed of 1 meter per second, that is 50 meters in 50 seconds. Attempt this exercise repeatedly until you achieve the right pace you will require the help of a second person and a stopwatch. Using a calibrated measuring jug, practice pumping at a consistent and even rhythm until you discharge the spray water at a rate equivalent to the rating of the nozzle. Red reflex nozzle discharges 2.4 liters per minute, while green reflex nozzle discharges 1.2 liters per minute. Repeat this step until you achieve a constant rate. Ensure the pumping speed is constant throughout each attempt. Hint, you can start by pumping at one stroke per second. Please note, high pressure leads to wastage of the mixture, while very low pressure results in less effective application of herbicides. Both scenarios lead to increased cost of weed management. Attach the small weight or pebble at the far end of the lens using a small piece of string. The distance between the end of the pebble and the lens should be exactly 60 cm. Holding the nozzle 60 cm above the target, measure the spray swath width when pumping at normal pressure. Upon completion of the spraying process, 
there is need to effectively dispose of the empty herbicide containers without polluting the environment. To ensure safe disposal, empty containers must be triple rinsed and destroyed and must not be reused for any other purpose. In ensuring effective weed management, Parfid recommends the use of the following types of herbicides glyphosate, paraquat, soil acting herbicides, and 2,4-D in different kinds of settings. The non-selective glyphosate and paraquat, only used before planting, are considered for killing both actively growing broad-leaved and narrow-leaved plants. The selective 2,4-D killing the actively growing broad-leaved plants and spares narrow-leaved plants, while the soil acting herbicides eliminate weeds before they emerge. The soil acting herbicides contain any of the following active ingredients atrazine, s metalocla alacla, tabuthylazine, or mesotrione. These are only specific to maize and should be applied within 24 hours after rain, especially when the soil is still moist. During overall usage, it is important to note the color codes for the highly hazardous agro-pesticides, moderately hazardous agro-pesticides, slightly hazardous agro-pesticides, and those unlikely to present an acute hazard. These color codes inform you how the herbicides or pesticides need to be properly handled. Yeah, Si kufundiswa hii ya ndawa ilikuwa ninatumia hii ya ten ile kwa eka ya ten na hii ingine kwa hii spray ni eka ni four four hiyo ni finder na utavuna mavuno mengi kuliko ile ingine kwa hii eka moja Na ama kwa nusu yeka, unaweza kufuna hata 20 mbabs. Pele ni tulikuwa tunapika mandawa. Tulikuwa tunapika mandawa, lakini tulikuwa tunapika mandawa. Ile kienyeji yetu. So, wakati fafendi walikuja, wakamaliza kufundisha mambo ya, ya CA, kutumia basin na maripu lines, di walikuja kukundua. Wakati tunayenda sasa kupika mandawa, kosti yetu still iko juu sababu conservation ya kikaja ni mambo ya kukata hiyo cost. So walitupuliza sasa mambo ya kutumia the right way ya spray. Tulikuja kuketi tukafanya analysis ama tukafanya mahesabu ukipika mdawa kawaida ile ya mtu wa conventional na wa CA. Ukienda kufanya comparison ndio nakuta mtu ametumia CA ako better off kuliko yule ule wa, wa conventional.